Okay guys, here's a quick tutorial to show you how to create a nice looking pop-up in Bubble. So the first thing we're going to do is grab our pop-up element. Okay, so what we want to do here is change it to a column just to make it nice and responsive. Um, so we want to make it full width and to change the background to none. Uh, make sure there's no box shadows or anything like that. Um, roundness you can leave. So this is basically an empty pop-up. Okay, now we want to grab a group. Drag that into our pop-up. And we want to then make the minimum 200, maximum width 500. We're going to change the color to white with a 20 roundness border and then we want to center it and for now let's just say minimum 300 or even minimum 500 height just so we can see what's going on okay so there we've got our our basic um, pop-up element there and then we're just going to add a image a picture PNG of a um, gift and we're just going to make sure that we have keep element aspect ratio so that's going to change um, the aspect ratio to the image that you just uploaded okay untick um, fixed width and now um, it's going to look really good if this is outside our main pop-up uh, group element within our pop-up so to do that, we're just going to go minimum 150 at the top. Um, left and right, we can go minimum 100 and minimum 100. So that's going to go outside our pop-up element. Now we do need to um, make sure that we stay within. So we're going to put a padding on our pop-up of um, 150. Um, and we can keep that at the bottom as well. Okay, so let's just have a look and see what that looks like. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Now we want to add some text here. So, um, maybe something like get up to. Yeah, let's center that, make that a bit bigger. Uh, maybe that red, copy and paste. Now let's just put in a input field. So this can be email and a button element and just say, let's group these so I've, I use shift to select both elements right click group into a column okay so that way we've got our two elements inside a group we had some spacing there now we want to untick Fixed width, same with our button. Untick, minimum width 200. Okay, so that way we can just add padding left and right. So let's go with 50, 50, um, 20, 20. Oops, sorry, I put two instead of 20 there, okay. So that's looking pretty good. Let's have a look and see what that's like. That's looking pretty good. Uh, I might just change the color of our background there. Let's just do a bit of a blur. 
Okay. And that color can be 40%. Okay, so I don't know about you, but I think that's a pretty good looking uh, offer pop up, uh, capture emails, uh, anything like that, but I think that looks pretty professional and it can easily be done in bubble. So for more tutorials, make sure you subscribe, write in the comments what you'd like help with. Um, I'm pretty keen to do some series on design elements uh, for a little while. So um, yeah, just sort of helping people create um, beautiful looking bubble apps. Cheers guys.